Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time, we are getting it all in the brilliant A Juggler's Tale. Now this was developed by Kaleidos Cube, published by Mixed Vision Digital, and is available for a price of £12.99, or £12.99 that is, which may seem slightly hefty, but this game was so incredibly jam-packed with action and overall brilliantness, it's actually worth it. So we play as Abby, a puppet held captive, of a, captive at a circus and it seems to be a happy go sunny type place which soon deepens into a darker atmosphere as we try to escape the cl circus's clutches. Now achievements and trophy wise they are for the majority quite easy enough, it's just a case of having to replay one or two maybe as a bit of skill is needed such as not falling in the water during act 2 at all but there's only two small parts so no worries there. Getting caught by an enemy's light, not the actual enemy itself, three times, and throwing barrels into an angry looking sea. But of course, I will explain all of that when we get there, otherwise it is a fairly easy straightforward completion, with achievements popping for each completed act as well. Now we should be looking at around one to two hours to finish this. And so, well, with that being said then, let us begin. So, as is the normal with every new game, you're going to start new game. Otherwise, you're not going to get very far, <laughs> as is the huge. Uh, so, these uh, these cutscenes are unskippable, but I have actually edited them out for uh, just for the purpose of the video. So, you'll have to probably pause the video at this point and just wait until the cutscene for you is finished. Otherwise, we can just begin... Now, obviously, it's the left stick to move. Um, the A button is to jump, as you can see. Just double, uh, you know, just triple amazingly jumping, making sure to get that. Uh, we just head for the gate right here, and we just wait for our little friend to push the box to us. So we get this uh, whole commentator guy. He's very funny first, but turns out to be quite annoying. Oh, wait, that sounds very familiar. That kind of sounds like me. <laughs> but I'm not as douchebaggy in the end, I swear. So anyway, pressing the right trigger is the way we interact with every object, so push it over to the gate and jump over. Now we're going to be already coming up to our first missable achievement, and uh, just as we jump on the, the rope, string, whatever the hell, take a little jumpity jump and a bounce. Cheeky little frog, we can have him for a cheeky snack later, because hey, it's a puppet world, we can do what we want. Anyway, this is where the first achievement is now. Um, for whatever reason, so let me just explain how we do this. So grab the ball with the right button, with the right stick, um, you'll have to aim and then just throw it with the right trigger again, and that will hit the bullseye. So you just need to do that on the right and the left one about sort of three times each, something like that. Now the reason I've got the achievement there in the top left hand corner, for whatever reason, this was at the point where Xbox was having a pretty bad day and nobody's achievements were unlocking on screen or anything at all. Um, so, yeah, Xbox had a bit of a brain fart on, on that day for whatever particular reason. So, I've just put the achievement in the top left-hand corner because, you know, I'm a nice guy and, well, I'll do anything to see you guys smile. I'll do anything to see you smile. Anyway, so, yeah, after about... Uh, hopefully, it would have been fixed by the time you're playing this, but I think it's probably around two or three times each you hit the bullseye, the achievement unlocks, and then we can go ahead... And move it on. So, as you can see, it's a very nice, nice circus place. Of course, we are being held captive, which you don't know that yet. So, spoiler alert! I've just spoiled it for you. <laughs> Sorry. And we have a little, uh, little cutscene. These cutscenes I am going to keep in. It's just the main ones that we're not going to get rid of. By the way, what does every douchebag circus mastery guy have? Like the world's pedoiest mustache. It genuinely just screams, stop looking at my children, you absolutely freak. But no offense if you know, you're a circus master and you don't have a mustache. I'm just saying that any mustache like that, they just creep you out, don't they? So we're coming up to another missable achievement now. So go ahead, grab this box and then push it to the first rope. Because of course, even though it's all an act, the bear can still rag us if he wants. It's, it's a bear after all, and he's pretty pissed off. So swing, get some motivation uh, by swinging left and then right. That gives you a good bit of motivation. And jump down. And then if you just grab an apple out of this bucket, again using the right stick to aim and then the right trigger to throw, you need to feed the bear about eight times. So we need to be giving this bear around eight apples or just keep going until the achievements unlock. Again, 
Bit of a shame that even though we are puppets, you know, Abby's not allowed to eat any of this. This is... This is child cruelty at its absolute finest right here. I'm going to go and call the police on... Um, well, I, I won't call him a, the pedo circus mastery guy, but we'll call him it for this instance. Anyway, when you're done with that, throw the bear, uh, the apple over, and the bear's going to go all the way to the left-hand side. That is where we can now grab the hat with the right trigger again. And that bit is done! You are done! Congratulations now, guys! The ringmaster praises... You've mastered that well. But now the hours have wild away. That was the last performance of the day. Alas, when she's not before the cheering crowd, Abby's life is far from proud. You had the audience cheering for more. The ring so, like I said, sadly enough, we are being held captive. It's a pretty lame circus, actually. It's literally just us and this bear. Where's the other people? Surely you need a whole thing to make a circus work, but apparently not in the land of the puppets. Anyway, once um, Mustache Nonsery goes behind the, um, uh, the wall right there, we're going to get a little help from our friends, the rats, who... I don't know if they're trying to feed us or what, but we're just going to reject their advances. Sorry, don't do rats. Throw it at the shovel behind you, to the left-hand side, and the old uh, moustache non sarial will come out and be all pissed off. Stay on the left-hand side, though, because he's going to get his ass out right there. We need to grab the keys. So, again, not sure if there's a time limit on that, but, you know, grab him just in case. Nobody wants to touch an ass, really. Not when someone who looks like that, but... Uh, in this instance, it's got to be done. So when he goes, press the right trigger there to activate the key into the lock and get the hell out of there. Now what we need to do is grab our friend, um, Curtis E. Bear. The Curtis E. Bear. Yeah, get it? Simpsons quote? I hope somebody gets that, otherwise I look a right fool. Anyway, head to the right. Obviously we got string, so we can't actually go under. But again, if you press the right trigger next to the bear, and jump up on his paw, we, he will uh, help us up. So, thank you, Curtis E. Bear. The Curtis E. Bear. Now, jump up and then just jump down the other side. Now, press the RT button again to interact with this. Uh, with the lever. That'll drop it down and then you can just uh, jump over to the other side. Again, pressing the right trigger. Basically, the right trigger is everything you're going to use to interact with every little thing in this world. So again, I, I get, really not sure why the bear couldn't just literally eat the uh, old non cilial moustache man of the circus mastery. Don't don't know why he couldn't just do that, but I mean he's a bear, so you know. I suppose manipulation is easy on animals as well, which is a goddamn shame, really, because animals are super cute, except for the ones that want to kill you all the time, which uh, vegans don't care about actually, do they? They want all the animals to live. Anyway, we can just jump down and we can head to the right. That'll be the first act finished. Yay! So, there we go. So, the achievement onto Adventure will unlock. You will get an achievement for uh, completing each act anyway. And then we can move on. So, we're going to go into Act 2. Now, like I said, there are two parts in this chapter where you have to jump over, it's like a little platformer section, but you cannot fall into the water at all. And you, act, if you end up doing it, uh, if you end up falling into the water at any point, you've got to restart the whole act again. Just restarting the last checkpoint will not work. So keep that one in mind, my little angel pies. Uh, but for now, again, we'll worry about that when we come to it. The water, the jump in and water and platforming section is really not too bad. Uh, but before we move on, when we get into this Theresa May field of wheat, there is an achievement called Lunchtime that we need to get, and it's by sitting on this bench, simply sitting on it. Uh, as soon as you do that, again, pressing the right trigger, take take a load off, you know, it's it's been a hard life trying to escape from the circus. It's been a hard one and a half minutes. So, with that, the Lunchtime achievement should unlock, and then we can just move to the right. Now, this is where the puzzling, start, the puzzling stuff starts. So, um, jump right here. <laughs> I'm just joking. You can do what you want right this bit. But it's a very, uh, again, very beautiful game. The backgrounds in this are fantastic. 
Um, nice cow there, nice nice bit of uh, beef burger for us later. All right, tidy. So, let's go to this windmill part. What you need to do is press the lever just um, by the windmill and keep going until it's completely full. Keep going until it's completely full and then when it is, you need to head down, but not all the way. You need to do it so much that the strings push it just to the left there, so it fills up the stone, and that is what will get the windmill moving again. Cow's going for a drink. See how it works? Lovely. But we are actually now coming up to the achievement where we cannot fall into the water on dry feet. So again, it's part one out of two, because, funnily enough, there are two parts to it, which is why I put that. <laughs> Man, shit is crazy. So, get through the delicious Theresa May field of wheat. And if you don't know why that's funny or why that is a joke, just Google it. it, it it'll appear all obvious to you when you Google it. So, here we are. Do not fall in the water. So, go straight to the edge and then take a jump. And again, jump on this rock and to the next part as well. So, it's, it's very easy. That's why I definitely say just take your time with this bit. Don't go rushing ahead. Jump onto this plank of wood and then press the right trigger to pick that bit of wood up. And then jump over to the other side. And then if we go to the next one, again, slow down. Don't go too nuts. But if you press the right trigger again, she's going to throw it in or with all her Eddie Hall steroid strength. I'm just joking. Um, but pick up the one from the next bit of wood and then jump on the next plank of wood in the river. Throw it down. And then, again, pick up the next plank of wood from behind you. Throw that in. And then, <laughs> oh, I almost bollocks that up, which would have pissed me off. Pick up the same. As soon as you throw it in, take a jump. And luckily for us, our little uh, friend prop props herself uh, over to the other side. Now, again, we're coming up to another couple of missable achievements. But there is another small, very small water section. Um, more towards the end of the chapter, after about 15 minutes. So... Um, that bit's not bad because the first start of the act uh, is quite short, uh, but we'll come to that a bit later on anyway. So for now, drag this uh, bridge down, and obviously you do that with the right stick and going all the way around. Basically, there are two achievements that we're going to get here. One is called Animal Friend for getting rid of the wolf, helping him free. Uh, now the bridge, basically what's going to do is get up, so we just need to grab the hook. Now again, lots of sharp objects in this um, in this game, so you think you could just grab a hook and then pull the strings off yourself, but uh, you know, such is life. What do I know? I'm not a game developer. I am just a guy who plays and commentates over stuff, which makes me about as talented as my right nutsack. It's not very talented at all. Anyway, as soon as the bridge starts going up, we need to drag the cart across. And then what we need to do is actually drag it all the way over to the strings where, where the wolf is. And basically, we're going to help the little wolf man be free. So after we cut the strings, there we go. We're just about to piss off our own commentator dude. But we need to push the card off the cliff. And that helps old wolf boy be free. Wolferine, you are free, my friend. You go and enjoy your life with your big rabbit ears. Oh, hmm. Oh, our dude is not happy with us. And who the hell are you? This is my life. I'm an independent woman, and I don't need no man. Although I, I kind of need a man to cut these strings off, or, or just anyone to cut these strings off. Damn it. Anyway, the achievement should unlock for you by now, Animal Friends, so when the achievement unlocks, we can now um, press the start button, go into chapter, the old chapter, and then we can just um, choose the Trouble of the Hunter's Lodge again. Basically, we need to do the same things, except we need to leave the wolf there. Sorry, Wolferine, this time we can't help you. So, again, literally just do the same thing that you just done, so we need to pull the bridge down, pull the cart across, but do not pull the strings down, just drag it over and then push the cart off. Then we can move on and get the achievement called Scaredy Cat. So, once again, my apologies, Wolferine, but this douchebag, whoever's commentating... No offence, he's a good voice actor, but uh, in the end he does your tits in. Again, very much like me. That's awkward. A girl who moves windmills will certainly manage to get a little card out of the way.
Bye, Wolverine! Sorry that we couldn't, uh, you know, save you and you're about to die alone and old and alone soon, but uh, I'm sure you'll be fine. You'll be fine, just fine. Right. With that, we can now move on, and this was, for some reason for me, like, it's an easy part of the game, but this part just done my tits in. So, again, pressing the right trigger. Now, what you can do and what you're supposed to do is actually just run into the tree and Abby will just automatically burn it. But for some reason, I was pressing the right trigger on the tree and then dropping the torch, making life literally a little bit more difficult. So, so again, as you can see, every time you press the right trigger, she'll burn the tree, but then she'll drop the torch. And as we, again, we can see there's a reason we need to be doing this. So we, again, what you're supposed to do is just run straight through the tree and then set the next part there, the next sort of torch bit, on fire. Instead, for some reason, I got until the very last tree of this area before realizing you could do that. Instead of going back to light that one on fire, then going all the way to the next sort of torch lantern -y area. So when we get here, press the right trigger to set that one on fire, throw it down through the log... Um, otherwise it'll just, it'll just burn quicker, for, for some reason. Pick it up again, obviously interacting with it using the right trigger, and then interact with... See, now this is where I was being very, very silly. So I just about lost it, which was really annoying. But honestly, if you just run straight through the tree, you can then, you know, burn that other torch bit and make your life a lot easier. And don't waste precious seconds like I seem to be doing for some particular reason. Maybe it's the Welsh way. Maybe I shagged one too many sheep today. I, I don't know. I can't remember. I'll have to come back to you on that. Um, <laughs> not, not that all Welshmen, of course, do that. Lol. Actually, according to the English, that's all we ever do. We don't actually do anything else. Um, so, again, this is all we're going to be doing for the time being. Big spider. Very, very easy sort of mini boss fight, though. So, nothing to be afraid of, unless you are terrified of spiders, then plenty to be terrified of. Interact with the next torch, I just about managed to grab that one. And there we go. So, we are coming up to the next infamous mini-boss spider fight. So, all we need to do, as you can see, on his back, there are sort of little lines. That's sort of his weak spot. So, all we need to be doing is just throwing torches over to his back and his weak spot. You've got plenty of time in which to do it as well. You know, if you're going to do it, at least put some fire on it first. Because, <laughs> funnily enough, throwing a stick at a spider just won't help. Especially one that's about a thousand times bigger than you are. So, we need to do this one three times then. So, try and just throw it over his head. In his back, that. I tell you what, that's kind of like eating Indian food then, doesn't it? Kind of like a ring sting. Got a bit of butthole sting then, like, like we're doing to the spider right now. And nobody likes that one. So, three times, and that'll end up kicking his ass. Well done. You forced her retreat. Don't try your luck. Actually, you know what? I would say it's pretty scary for us Brits, because we're all fannies when it comes to spiders, but in Australia, that is as normal as you can get. So, the Australians are looking at me then, laughing. Now, what you need to do then, throw a lit torch up. So that we can actually climb up. Uh, for some reason, when you're not holding it, the fire seems to burn a lot um, longer than if we are holding it. Anyway, this is where we can <laughs> um, light up the next torch and then we can be on our way. Uh, can we do it? Ah, oh, no, because I end up dropping it like a loser. But, you know, I'm so good at video games, I managed to get it anyway. So what we need to do is not do that. We, we were actually... Oh, in fact, yeah, we were supposed to jump down. My apologies. This is what we were not supposed to do. Yeah, we're actually supposed to j jump up over the log. Now, again, because you can't really fall off anything because our little friend will always help us. Now we need to move the lever and just move it all the way to the top once again. I wonder if the Aussies are still laughing at us because they've got giant spiders they have on a daily basis. Why less Brits are scared of, of just about everything? Especially dentists for some reason, because all British people have about four teeth, right? America, right? <laughs> you know high wire lights from the surface, sure. Rome wasn't built in a day. So that's Tidy Bob Squarepants. 
we are done with that one. Now what we can do is just press the lever on the left, quickly jump on, and then a whole bunch of crap's going to happen. No! Again, luckily our pal is on hand to save us. But make sure to get some fire from this first. Don't actually run into the fire, because, you know, again, that'll burn, <laughs> that'll burn your ass more than uh, Chinese. Bit of Chinese food. Although, goddamn, they are the tastiest on the planet. Chinese and Indian food. Anyway, light up this torch. We can now burn this next tree. And it is at this point where I realise you can actually just run straight through the tree like an absolute noob. So please don't call me a noob. It hurts my feelings. And, you know, we are living in the age where everyone's feelings get hurt. Uh, <laughs> oh, so, spider's dead. Tampion, mate. Anyway, we are good for this bit. Now we just need to get... Now we're going to start seeing enemies in the game. So, obviously, if you're going to jump straight up, you are going to get dead. So, you need to grab the torch and then go about a little bit of the way up the rope. So, he's going to jump down. As soon as he does, start climbing up. And then he's like, ugh. Because he looks like one of those mongos, doesn't he? Ugh. One of them. Uh, whatever the hell that's supposed to mean. I was thinking of, like, the big giant cookie from Shrek, to be honest. But, there we go. We can move on. And a little <laughs> cutscene is going to play. You know exactly what I mean. Mongo from Shrek. Giant gingerbread man. Yeah, good, good. And conspiratively whispering with who? About what? Oh my, it's Tonda, the merciless plunderer. He's the one who tore the spider asunder. Abby's weight in gold shall be yours if you bring her back through my circus doors. Since she's gone, my world has gone black. Damn it, I want the little brat back. The ringmaster pleaded, the ringmaster whined, but Tonda just laughed and sipped his wine. Remember the bear? We caught him in a day without further ado. A little lost juggler girl won't cost but a few. Ringmaster, have your reward ready. We'll bring your abbey back just as I told. Get ready, men. We'll be bathing in gold. Tonda. Our main villain name, Tonda. Anyway, this is uh, the stealth sections in this game are not too particularly difficult at all. Obviously, if you get caught, they just catch you and, well, they, they seem like they sort of do nothing to you. But obviously, wait until the guy starts pushing his flashlight or torch to the right-hand side. As soon as he does, like now, then we can start creeping on. Now, you need to do it immediately because, of course, he quickly swings his ass back. Right, so for the next bit then, there's going to be another guard with a torchlight who's going to be walking about. And there is a saw with a half, <laughs> half a saw in, or a saw halfway in between a log. So as soon as he starts turning around and walking away, you need to grab the saw with the right trigger button and then quickly go left and right with, the, with your um, <laughs> moving stick. I can't remember what it's called, analog stick, the old moving stick. So, there we go. I just about done it then, and then press the right trigger to move it to the right as well. So, I just about done it before he came. Again, if you're a bit concerned or worried or anything, then obviously, you know, take your time. There's no need to rush at all. But push it. Start As soon as it starts rolling down the hill by itself, it's going to clonk him on the head. And then we're going to have um, dummy one and dummy two in a fight. And then we can start heading down to the right. Job done. Abby is the queen of queens. Start up in your crown. All the muscle in the world will only weigh you down. Once you sneak past certain death, it's easy to believe that... So, we're actually coming up now to the second bit of water that we need to avoid. Remember, we are not jumping in any water whatsoever, because if you do, you have to restart the entire act, which has taken about 20 minutes or so. So, just edge towards the edge and then jump over. And then what you need to do is very carefully push this box into the water, but don't go too far. Just very, very carefully edge it out, and as soon as it falls in... You should now be good to jump over to the other side. There we go. Again, if you want to be doubly sure, give yourself a bit of motivation and then swing and jump over until he falls off. And then we can jump over ourselves. Sorry, forgot about that bit. <laughs> um, and then we can grab the awkward sort of dead 
Kind of looks like more of a dildo than a dead body. But, uh, you know, each to their own. Whatever the hell you want to do, drag it over to the right. Then we can jump up onto the rope and move on. But we do have one more small water part that we need to avoid. So hopefully you've avoided everything so far. And we're just going to do this one small part. And then we can get the achievement and move on. We've got a bit of running platforming to do. So, again, edge very carefully. Jump onto the stone and over to the other side. The achievement should unlock right now. So hopefully you would have got that as well. Otherwise, now we are just doing, like I said, a bit of running and platforming. So Thunder is on his way. So you don't have to avoid the water. But it's best to so you don't die from Thunder's juicy grease hands. By the way, when climbing ladders, just keep moving right. Don't press the A button because you'll jump off. Which is exactly what I did, like a noob again. Watch out! Oh, have you grown so accustomed to me, have you? Thunder grunts and rains. And there's nowhere to be found. He's not used to having his prey escape the hunting grounds. A moment of grace can have an exorbitant price. Abby's freedom is at the... So, there we go then. That is Act 2. Again, hopefully you would have got the Andre Feet achievement as well. Um, by the way, those, those little comments like, Have you grown so accustomed to me helping? Like, no, I've grown accustomed to you shutting the uck up. Really, pal? Oh, those little comments actually grated on me. Gen genuinely did grate on me during the game. Mm. Anyway, as we can see, we get our revenge, potentially, a little bit later on. So, welcome to Act 3. Um, Abby's well delighted. All we're going to do for the time being, we're just going to keep running. Keep running and walking to the right until we hit a little village. But, just enjoy the scenery, it's all good. Abby's bat battered and bruised and, you know, all stuff, but... Well, she's, left as a, she's less of a fanny than we are, because we would have given up a long ago, wouldn't we have? Me personally, yes. But look at that, that's a stunning view. Seemed too much to give in. This freedom you've achieved is but a burden. No matter where you hasten, no matter how you try, your feet are no less blistered, your dreams are no less shy. Freedom is hard, Abby. Get used to it. The woods are a lonely place, but in a village can add... And the little village is just over the other side of this, so um, grab the weirdly placed dead guy in a coffin. Coffin. And just drag it to the left for the time being. Now we can interact with the lever, uh, so we can pull the Tingo Muscratton up. There it is. Then we can just push the, again, weirdly placed coffin. Obviously wasn't loved particularly well by this village. And then we can just jump up on and then just jump over to the other side. Obviously, using the coffin there helps us to jump up. So we can up to another missable achievement now. So as soon as we jump down, again, he thinks that we're going to be scared of dogs. And doggies are so fluffy wuffy apart from a few douchebaggery ones. But every human and animal has that douchebaggery one. But if we jump up onto the ladder there on the left-hand side, we can now pick up the stick. Again, using the right trigger. Aim with your right stick and then throw it over the other side. Now, what we're going to do, what we need to do, is just throw the stick a couple of times for the doggy. And that's how easy it is to make friends with the dog, ladies and gentlemen. Chuck it a stick, chuck it a bit of food. You know, very much like humans, actually, aren't we? We're very easily pleased. Uh, but that's all you need to do then, is just throw the stick a couple of times, three or four times, and the achievement should unlock. Stayed in the circus. Leave the stick alone. The mutt will find some other bone. So that should be it. I'd love to stay and chat, but, uh, you know, we gotta go. But we're gonna come up immediately to another missable achievement. Basically, in the middle of these houses right here, there is going to be a bell. That, all we need to do is, again, interact with that a couple of times. Until the Troublemaker achievement unlocks. It's a bit harsh. We're a, we're a cold and frightened little girl. We've just been <laughs> out of the circus. Why won't anyone feed me, goddammit? I know we're a puppet, but puppets still get hungry. I'm pretty goddamn sure of it. Anyway, what we could do is just head to the right-hand side. And we're into the baker's yard, who... I mean, she genuinely has the tiniest legs I've ever seen. Oh my god. But that ass, man, that is 
Thick! Thick! T H I double C, girl. Anyway, she's throwing us out, so that's too much bread. Too much bread in the trunk. You look for all the world a mischief maker. Now, what you're supposed to do is wait until she starts going back, but I actually try um, pissing about with her. <laughs> she's quite. To be fair, for a good old uh, T H I double C chick, she is fast. God damn, girl. Anyway, what we need to do... I don't actually think we need to do this. I don't know if it's... Required or whatever. Um, but we need to... Or we do, anyway. Pull this little bit of trap door out from underneath her. Go and get her attention again. And then take a run. And she basically falls in. Again... <laughs> I'm not particularly sure if we need to do that. Because we don't actually need anything from the baker's yard. But... You know, it's always entertaining to piss about, isn't it? Anyway, again, don't do what I do and keep pressing the A button to jump off. Just keep pressing right so we can climb all the way up. And now we're coming up to another achievement um, in just a bit called the Close Call Achievement. But for now, what we're going to do is just keep heading to the right and enjoying life. Except we're not because we're shitting ourselves because everyone's after us. Hmm. And the rain's erased your tracks. But I don't think you can allow yourself to relax. They'll not forget you too soon or let the ringmaster down. For his promised gold, they'll plunder the whole town. And for these next bits then, what we can just do is whoa! Just keep walking into the pieces of wood right here. It's all good. We're just we're just making a mess because we can. We've been captive for our short, short life. I assume she's short. She looks like a kind of midgety. Anyway, just keep walking all the way to the right when you get... Don't do it again. Don't do what I did there. You need to climb up the ladder and just keep walking all the way to the right. And eventually, you'll pop your strings through. Job done. Except it's not job done because our little friend's going to pop us down in the centre for some reason. Instead of just letting us go again. Another douchebaggery move. So what we need to do then is just grab the bucket uh, all the way up here. We actually need to climb to the top of this. Uh, so, again, Christ knows what I was doing there. But we just need to grab the bucket all the way to the top, and then we can climb up onto the platform above. So, let's go ahead and do that. And then what we can do is just jump across to the other side, and then start start our leisurely walk to the right once more. Look, a carnival abbey. Everyone's there. But where's your place? Just as Abby is crossing the reach. So this is where the next and possibly the toughest achievement in the game is for me. Close call. Now, what you're supposed to do, if you head to the very, very edge, basically the enemy will see you, like I said, like exactly like that, and start chasing you. So what you need to do is um, be about halfway in between each of the sort of last barrels that we're hiding behind. If you go again, like you said... Like you've just seen, if you go too close to the edge, he will see you and run after you. What we need for him is to sh him for, for him to shine the light, and then we go back, like that. So I was about halfway in between the, the uh, barrel or whatever we were just hiding behind. And that gives us... that That's another point for the close call. So again, sort of about halfway between. And as we can see, he's going to... There it is. So we can do that one. We need to do this three times, by the way. So stay here. And then, again, halfway between the sort of barrel, between the last barrel there. Um, there is, as you can see on the very right-hand side, there is a bell. So now the achievement should unlock for you if you've done it this way. But there is a bell on the very right-hand side where you can grab a stone from the left for in the cart, sneak your way to the right, and throw that stone at the bell. That counts as a distraction as well, uh, just in case you're having a bit of trouble with that one. Um, but when you get this achievement anyway, what we need to do is grab the cart. Uh, we need to be going to the right anyway, so I'll show you again, just in case. But we need to push this cart. Obviously, don't go all the way into the space, because the, the enemy's going to be a little bit like... Oh my god, it's this Metal Gear Solid again. Jesus Christ, it's moving on its own. It's like a box with that solid snake guy. So, we'll just wait for this guy to move to the left. As soon as he does that, start moving to the right again. And you should be as golden as a golden nugget. My, one of my favourite all-time cereals. So this enemy doesn't actually move, so again, don't go too far, you should be okay for now, so pick up one of these stones with the right trigger, aim, throw it at the bell, again, this does count as a distraction, um, 
and then as soon as he starts moving over to the right then we can just push the cart and we're gonna jump on and go for a ride baby not a very big one though as soon as we um, get thrown off we actually still need to be moving to the right so don't think that this is an over bit so BAM keep running to the right then climb up to the ladder again don't press A to jump off because that's stupidity and we should be okay except we're not <laughs> unlucky for us but basically what's going to happen now again there's going to be about a two minute cutscene which I have um, cut out and edited out again just for the sake of time on the video um, so again probably worth pausing this bit until your cutscene ends Soon the ringmaster will be all smiles. At dawn we set out and tackle the last few. So, as soon as Thunder and his buddy goes away, what we can do is just, again, it's kind of like you're swinging on a rope. You're just going to go right to left, to left to right, until we get out. Again, an incredible show of strength here displayed from Abby. I'm going to call her Abby Stoltman, the world's strongest man-woman. Because why the hell not? Anyway, we're all good, except we're not all good because now the barn is on fire. So, there is an apple just in the sort of middle of this room right here. So, pick that one up, throw that at the top to get the pea bucket down. It looks more like a pea bucket than anything. Then we can just jump up on the string and go to the right-hand side. Now, for this little bit, um, all we need to do, our little commentator friend right here is going to... Um, fling us up in the air so all you need to do is just get, again keep swinging from left to right and grab onto the little door handle or whatever the hell that is do that a couple of times until you see the end my patience abby what do you think of your heroine now all tatters and fleas and chased out of town hit let go what do you hope to achieve with your squirming let go behave yourself Pitiful that you can't accept this one simple truth. Stop this not nice chance! This has got to stop! No! No! This is not possible! And there it is then, the end of Act 3. By the way, pal, I'm losing my patience as well. It's not your fault. You gave a puppet some live organs and a heart and everything that we need to be a real person. That's your fault. So, you know, you also gave me the ability to get free will as well, which <laughs> I bet you're regretting that one boy now, huh? Anyway, bit of a longish cutscene before we can start moving. Uh, wait. Abby, lie in... Yeah, yeah, damn it. Give me a second. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so Abby lay there. And then... And then... You wanted to know what happened, eh? Of course. Um, what... What happened? Okay, good. Abby got up. She sat up, shaken, and found her way back. Back to her feet. She, she began to run. The world, her world, that I built was in ruins because 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 the war endlessly ravaged and uh, uh, brutal Come on, Abby, get up, there you go. 
you're literally made from just nothingness. You don't have any bones or anything to break, so you should be good. Unless the free will sort of makes you hurt or whatever. Anyway, all we're doing is just, we're going to continue walking to the right. It's kind of a bit of a long section of walking to the right. But we are going to be coming up to another missable achievement as well. So, for now, have a look at the war torn village of Credsters. The war around her was merciless. Ungrateful as she was, she still had no regrets. And here we go then. So, we see this um, sort of box of stones that has fallen down. What you're supposed to do to progress is throw them into the basket on the right, but what we're doing is picking one up and heading all the way back to the left, back to the starting point. Now this one is an incredibly easily missed achievement, so again, make sure to just pick up a stone and run to the left. Now, again, like I said, with the um, Abby Stoltman Scottish strength, apparently she's Scottish now, we can just call this, and this is basically an atlas stone compared to a puppet, so the fact she's running with it makes it even more of an incredible achievement than Tom Stoltman uh, well, and Luke Stoltman, the Stoltman brothers with their atlas stone strength. This is awesome. Anyway, when we get here, that piece of grass sort of prop, whatever the hell that is, throw the stone up there, and that is what you will get for doing that, the missable achievement called Riot. Now, with that, we can now take our Abbey Scottish Stoltman strength and just go all the way to the right, back to where the stones were. So, here we are then. We are back to where we are. <laughs> we're, we're at where we at pick so pick up a couple of stones there We need to throw it into the basket as you can see on the right hand side um, Just enough so that the door as you can see in the upper right hand corner opens for us So it should only take about two stones anyway, so that should be nice and tidy So jump up onto the string on the left and then we can jump to the right Obviously as you can see we are now stringless which makes us awesome and makes it super hard as well. Push the hook off. And now we can just basically jump back down to the platform below and swing ourselves to the other side. The free will he gave us is coming in incredible handy right now. Crawl away in your rabbit hole, Abby. A mouth, you say freedom? We say, no, not quite freedom yet. We got Tonda and the rest of his gang still coming at our ass. But we are, once again, coming up to another missable achievement as well. Again, this is a very easily missed one because you can just run straight through it. Uh, but this is only a short cutscene anyway. Teach this brat a lesson? Jesus. What do I do, bruv? It's your fault. Anyway, as you can see, this big arrow gun fiery thing just interact with this once that will give us the achievement called worth a try um now i am very silly because i cannot remember what the hell it's called but arrow gun fiery thing it is for now so make sure to grab that before we move on to the right again So there's no missable achievement here, but this puzzle is quite, not very complicated, but you can get easily confused. So, Ton is going to appear, so we're going to push this box to the left and then jump up. Now we're going to interact with this lever, but immediately run to the left and back down from the boxes, because of course Tonda will try and grab us, but of course his strings won't let him. Uh, so we'll just keep this box about in the middle of the row, right here, just in the middle end of this platform. And then we need to go to the right so we can jump to the right. And then immediately again push the box to the left. And then just jump up and go down to the next platform on the left hand side. All the way to the left so we can jump up. 
Now what we can do is jump on this box and then jump up to this platform and then quickly interact with the lever again and jump up and then just go to the right and down. That is exactly what we needed. So again, it's not an overly complicated puzzle, but you can get easily lost. So when we start pushing this box to the right, there's nothing he can do now. So we can push this box all the way to the right. He cannot get past because, ha ha, you're a string puppet. What a loser, man. Even though we were just circus fodder not so long ago. Hey, but that's fine by us. So now we can just jump into the boat and start moving on our way. What? Yeah, right. <laughs> Pathetic attempt. Well, this pathetic attempt worked, so up your nan, my man. Oh, look how peaceful the lake is. So calm. Ah, Abby thinks she's safe, floating like a leaf. But there's more to worry about than a barbarian thief. In the eye of the storm. Storm! The eye of the storm is deceptively calm. But then it unleashes the force of a thug. Meteor is a thug while looking so romantic. A peaceful little lake can rage like the Atlantic. Okay, so this is the last missable achievement of the game. Uh, what we have to do now, basically, there's going to be a bit of an angry sort of sea vortex, or whatever the hell you want to call that. The whirlwind of death. What you need to do is just put three or four barrels in. Can't remember exactly how many, apologies. But you need to just edge towards the um, whirlpool, not whirlwind, because that's wind in the air, donkey ass. Um, with this whirlwind then, so you need to just edge very carefully and then just try and keep pushing the barrels in. Three or four should do it to get the achievement, but you just need to be ever so careful. Just one big fell swoop. Um, I think it works more with the back of the boat, uh, where the light is. That seems to hit the barrels in a lot easier. Uh, so again, this is not too difficult, as long as you're just careful and you're sort of edge to, uh, edging yourself towards the whirlpool. But if you can, um, put yourself onto the left, and then when you see a barrel come in, then swoop in for the kill, as it were. Not like that, because that was just silly. But you know what to do, so three or four barrels should do it. So hopefully by now then you have got that one, um, yeah you'll just have to keep going until you grab it, but basically to progress, uh, I should have really gone across now, but basically we need the whirlpool to stop, for the seas to calm down and then we can just move across to the right hand side. Uh, this part is very easy anyway, it's literally just a case of me being a bit overly cautious with that one, which sounds about right, <laughs> ripe, right, again maybe it's uh, the sheep I m molested today. I um, maybe it's got to my brain a bit. I'm <laughs> just joking. I don't molest sheep. I eat them because <clears throat> I'm a man, etc. Anyway, when the sea calms down, sorry, just talking out of crap as usual. As soon as the sea calms down, go to the right. But what we're going to see is the bandits coming from the right hand side. So don't go full speed. Sort of edge very carefully. And as soon as you see them on the right, there they are. We need to start heading back to the left. So again, we need to wait until the sea calms down. The whirlpool is chill. Then we can move over. So again, don't go full speed because you'll die, etc. So just wait now until... You should have plenty of time anyway, but wait until the sea calms down. Oh, I uh, accidentally ended up chucking another barrel in anyway. So that worked well in my favor. So as soon as it calms down, move your ass over to the left-hand side very quickly. Then you should be able to wait here because the vortex, the vortex, the whirlpool will open up again. And goodbye. And it, it's kind of hilarious, actually, that a lot of grown men or grown puppet men 
can't just destroy one easy, easy girl. I'm... Oh, look. Oh, that's cute, actually. They, they went up into heaven. I'm not a pathetic little girl. I'm doing a lot better than <laughs> your so-called puppet men. Oh, my God, what a loser. Somebody's angry. Wow. Somebody's either still a virgin or hasn't got laid for a couple of years. Taking all your anger out on a little girl. That's, um... Manly of you, perhaps. Anyway, we are quite close now to the end of the game, actually. Um, so we, we're just going to chill out, and we're going to head to the right, as is the huge for the time being. Actually, one more thing about this guy. He does kind of sound like um, Piers Morgan when he got, uh, got rejected by Meghan Markle, because that's all he does is abuse Meghan Markle now, because she rejected him because he's got a fat head. <laughs> Ah, Piers Morgan is douchebaggery at its finest. They'd also revolted, an ungrateful bunch, though they'd once been devoted. They wanted more, more, more. They wanted to win, win, win. And now there's nothing left of them but the stories they're in. A sword in a stone, ancient as it is famous. <laughs> but is it good for anything more than diversion? But don't get too comfortable, little Abby. Tonda sleeps even less than... So another little run and gun here. So as soon as Mr. Uh, Tondo starts running, of course, this is just another bit of a section. Um, again, not too bad. There's going to be a couple of tree branches that are going to try and um, go away. All we need to do is just run under and jump over a couple before we get to a building where he can't reach us because he's still stringed up like an loser. <laughs> How do you like that? Damn it! Come on! Happy, happy days! Right, what we're doing now is coming up to another achievement. This one is unmissable. Again, there's only three achievements, or should be three achievements left in the game. This one is unmissable. So, grab this um, death uh, scythe. Kind of looks like uh, the, the uh, Grim Reaper's scythe. And then, of course, pu uh, push, go up to the en en enveloper. Jesus Christ. Uh, what you need to do is actually grab the scythe and put it a little bit further over. Which, as you can see, we can't pick it up. Abby, old scabious Abbeus. So again, just push the scythe over just a little bit more until we can climb to the other side. We need to be picking up that side. Again, apparently uh, pff, hooks don't work on puppets. And what we need to do is just go all the way over, and the one string is going to start popping off. Again, for whatever reason, you think there's plenty of sharp objects about, including this scythe. So, we're going to pull one off, but you think we'd be able to just keep using that same scythe, pull all the strings done, and life is good. He's happy. But, well, that's not the way that the devs wanted the game to work, so <laughs> kudos to them. Anyway, we need to um, go to the left. We need to get this angry... <laughs> Man, <the> co <laughs> this commentator is extremely angry. There you are. He does sound like... He does sound very like he just got rejected by a girl. Very, um... You know, at, at the end of a breakup or anything, and you just start getting that crackly voice. There you are! Uh, I'm actually really pissed off and sad. Uh. Anyway, we can head back up to the elevator and jump up, and we need to do, be doing a tiny little running section. I say tiny because, well, there we are. But we need to keep running, so just keep running to the right for the time being. And eventually, we are going to head down to the left here. And keep going, and there's a hole with the ladder in that we are going to jump down. Now, this bit's going to take a little bit of time. All we need to do is... He's going to be looking for us there, so we need to jump up. There is another saw, so grab another saw immediately. Don't do what i done, and then quickly wiggle the left stick left and right. As soon as he walks towards you, keep doing that. Move away, so we need to uh, jump up this ladder... As soon as he starts coming, jump back down and just do this three or four times until the tree lands on him. Life will be happy. Except not all good, because then we need to pull a couple of strings off him, as you'll see. Come out. In 
Enough of this pathetic game. No, 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 no! Oh, you will regret this. Go away. Get away from him, you. Go away. No, you little. You are so dead. Ah, me, he's fuming. Dead, dead, dead. Oh, honey, don't, don't. You're okay. Right, so now it's a little bit of a platforming section. Things are going to start uh, falling down. Um, so again, just keep jumping as quick as you can and high as you can. The guy's voice is cracking me up with his rejected little wiener voice. Uh, but just keep going. This isn't too far. Ah, uh, you should be okay. That one's not too bad, but <laughs> I got lucky with one part, to be honest. So this is the sort of last area now. I don't know why he's laughing. We've literally just killed off all his puppet men. But what you need to do, head here so we can just jump into that. As you can see, some of the stones were breaking. Head all the way down. And don't go all the way yet because he's going to jump down. This bit's not too bad. But once again, we need to just climb up to the point we were and sort of edge out slightly. He's going to crash and bang and wallop. Now we need to go down and pull off another couple of his tampon strings. <laughs> ah, this guy's wearing tampons. That's funny. And to be fair, the, the commentator... <laughs> the voiceover guy sounds like he's wearing tampons as well, by the sounds of him. Sounds very much like he's on his period. Anyway, up to the point we just were, we need to throw a brick and we need to... Um, basically, what we need to do is actually get his attention first. So, kind of done this uh, bit uh, a little bit wrong. Uh, what we need to do, he, he can't... he doesn't know. Even if we throw it right there, he doesn't go over. So, what we need to do is get his attention. So, we actually need to go um, down... At least just one. Because obviously we can't throw the brick then if uh, he's in our way. So there we go. He's got our attention. He thinks that we're there. So now we can go grab a brick and throw it to the other side. Bop! Smashes his big fat nougat head into that. So just do the same thing again. Get his attention by going down one platform. Jumping up to the next one. Throw in the brick and do the same thing again. Stones, bricks fall on him. Pull out his tampon strings. And we will immediately then just go over to the right-hand side bunch of steps. Stay away from him. Ah! So now we can just keep heading all the way to the right, all the way to the top of the stairs. And by the way, he screamed just like I did when the doctor put his finger up my butt. I had the same scream, so I'll give him that one. Jump all the way, <laughs> jump onto the string, and then just swing from left to right until Tonda is done for. Tonda is Danda. That didn't make no sense. Ah, lucky! By the way, that doctor finger up the butt story, that, that's for a completely another time. Let's just say I had the exact same scream, like I said. Uh, well, I didn't say I didn't like it, and I just had a scream like it. Hmm. Yeah, I bought the doctor breakfast and everything, but he wasn't interested. Sorry, am I still going on about that? <laughs> no, what we're actually doing now, we are on to the final couple of minutes of the game. Very, very easy chapter. No enemies, nothing. Tonda is done for. So now we are basically home. What we need to do is just head all the way to the left. And just enjoy the scenery. And honestly, just enjoy whatever the hell we've just witnessed. Because that was just so jam-packed with so much good stuff in it. It was really, really good. But we're going to head to the left-hand side. We're basically going to see our uh, nonsensical um, uh, ring leader, ringmaster, whatever we want to call it. But, you know, he's actually kind of a nice guy. He's just a puppet as well. And aren't we all puppets in this world? I think we are, you know, doing the same crap day in and day out. We are all puppets in the world of crap it. Anyway, here we go. So we've seen, I'm not going to call him a nonsensical anymore because, you know, he's just a sad man. 
with a sad face. So pull a couple of strings off him and he's going to fall down and pull, uh, you just need to pull the rest off. So we need to try the Abbey Stoltman Scotland um, epic deadlift with our friend the skinny man but of course it's not actually going to work to release the bear. So we need to do this anyway to progress the story ever so slightly forward. There we go, so that's obviously not working so well if we had Tom and Luke here, Tom and Luke Stoltman they would have done that easily or literally any strongman ever. So we need to do that so he's able to push the box for us there and then we could just jump up and all we're doing then is just pull in uh, There are co again a couple of puppets that are about we just need to pull the strings off a couple of those puppets uh, Don't know what happened to the to the guy who basically created this place um, Did he kill himself because Meghan Markle rejected him? So <laughs> just joking Piers you're a upstanding citizen of assholery Anyway, pull a couple of strings off this guy, and there's a puppet on the left we need to do the same with as well. And as soon as we do that, we can just head back down to where the bear is, but you just need to wait for everyone to appear. And then everyone gets their deadlift strength out and releases the bear, and that is the end of the game. Man, what an adventure. Honestly, this was, this is definitely one of my favourite games of the year so far. It was just, everything was just so good, everything was done neatly. The voice acting was on point, even though the guy sounded like a, you know, a, a, a bit of a rejected loner. <laughs> but aren't we all? We've all had the screams and the uh, girly, terrifying voices and whatnot. But honestly, this was such a fantastic game. And I really hope to see more from Collider's Cube um, in the future. So... There we go, all we need to do then, as the bear, we just need to walk and run all the way to the left hand side and the game will end. So, what I'm going to do is actually end it here as well. Uh, you're automatically going to jump on all big brown butt bear. But no, there we go then, guys and gals. So, I hope you enjoyed the game, I hope you enjoyed the guide and that it helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with a friend as well. Don't forget to check me out on my socials, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook and Patreon as well. And again, a big, huge, as always, massive shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. Your donations and everything literally means the absolute world to me. So that is absolutely fantastic again. So thank you so much. And a shout out for everyone who continues to um, just like and continue to enjoy the channel and interact with me in any way regardless. Your support is so much appreciated, so thank you guys and gals as well. And that is that for this one then, guys and gals. So, how many times do I gotta say guys and gals in one little section? Anyway, that is the end for that, so I'll see you in the next one. Ba 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 big love.